Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar, the weather warnings, the UK Met Office run, have a look at precipitation and temperature and then we'll have a look at the longer term outlook with the GFS, GM, ESMWF and GFS, ESMWF ensembles. Now winter is returning to the north over the next sort of two days or so, we're seeing much colder conditions and we are seeing some wintriness, something we haven't seen for a good few weeks. It's still mainly westerly though, this is not sort of a change in weather pattern, we just have quite a cold air mass coming in from the northwest and there are still signals of seeing more colder spells over the next couple of weeks but once again mainly from a north to northwesterly direction which won't be like complete blocking so likely to be pretty temporary and only last a few days but for some it could bring um, some snowflakes um, sort of some areas we could see the first snowflakes of the winter over the next few weeks. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we do see something a little bit more seasonable than the, the westerly flow we've had recently. Just do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. Tomorrow, um, unfortunately, I can't record a video, so I will be uploading the podcast tomorrow uh, to make sure we have uh, consistent content out there. So do check that out, and it will be about the winter storms we're seeing in America and the other side of the pond, um, where they they are seeing proper wintry weather areas seeing um if well areas seeing sort of 20 30 centimeters widely along the east and southern end areas of the country so do check that out tomorrow but if we do have a look at the live radar at the moment you can see we have a weather front clearing from the southeast now it was quite squally uh, initially along it uh, for many areas uh, in the southeast through rush hour uh, and we have had a bit of bit of wintriness on the back edge again it's difficult to say uh, what was falling as snow in this but over moderate high ground there could have been a few flakes um, this morning again very locally um, but a few flakes nonetheless behind that we're into a much colder air mass so temperature is going to be pretty chilly today they're going to be lower than what we saw last night really six seven degree highs in the south further north it's only three or four degrees and you can see big convective wintry showers up packing in to the north and the west you can see they are coming quite far inland so even areas even uh, sort of central and eastern areas across northern england even to the midlands could be seeing some wintry showers around again ground pool sleet snow within those especially over higher ground but not exclusively as the day goes on they are going to be very lively uh, and again over higher ground of scotland we could be seeing some uh, accumulations not expecting anything significant but something uh, a bit of a change than we, what we've had recently um, it's a taste of winter at least for many areas um, turning much colder and more wintry um, and if we do have a look at the weather warnings we do have snow and ice warnings over the next couple of days we have snow and ice warning currently across the northern and western parts of scotland um again winter showers will lead to some tricky travel conditions from 3 p.m today all the way uh, until midnight today um and then tomorrow we have another snow warning across um 5 p.m tomorrow until 3 p.m on sunday heavy snow showers may lead to some travel disruption um, especially over the higher routes again 10 to 15 centimeters over high ground two to five centimeters possible um, to lower lying areas so again mainly over the higher ground uh, but not exclusively um, and it's proper wintry like conditions returning something we should be seeing this we should well, we really should be seeing this time of year but we've been starved of it so far this winter uh, but we are seeing return to that um, over the next couple of days now if we do have a look at the UK Met Office run, have a look at the precipitation. Uh, now this is the 3 o'clock run, so uh, a good few hours ago now. You can see that school line moving through and those winter showers repacking in, um, sort of increasing intensity throughout the day, continuing, and you can see they're even drifting far inland, perhaps potentially around 6, 7 p.m. this evening, even into, benches, pop, into the London area, maybe central um, areas, southwestern areas as well. Uh, but they will reduce in frequency. Through the early hours of Saturday, before we see another weather front push into the north, heavy rain and snow over high ground again, um, mainly over two three hundred meters. Um, before we do see that weather front push through, we see another colder air mass spread southwards. Um, rain in the south, but heavy snow showers once again in the north. Um, before we do see more weather fronts pushing, returning milder, um, but still pretty chilly in the north with some snow over higher ground. Now, if we do have a look at the max temperatures, you can see as of 4 a.m. this morning, 9 or 10 degrees in the far southeast, 
minus three uh, across central Scotland. So big temperature contrast as that cold front does spread through. But as I said, this afternoon, cold front spread through all areas. Six, seven degrees feeling colder than that in the south and around freezing maybe two, three, four degrees max further northwards. Overnight tonight, widespread frost in the north. In the south, could fall to maybe freezing or one degree if we do see clear skies. But again, uh, not expecting a massive frost, but could be some icy stretches out there before we see some temporary milder conditions through Saturday. Eight or nine degrees in the south, so a touch milder, but still cold in the north. And then through Saturday evening, a widespread frost in the north once again, but still really mild in the south. We're seeing a big split. Much colder area in the north, milder area in the south. And going to trigger quite a lot of rain along that boundary through the Midlands and central southern England, as we saw with uh, with the precipitation. Uh, but the north will be wintry showers, um, and that will continue through Sunday, uh, 8, 9, 10 degrees in the south, below freezing in the north. And that will continue before Monday. We see a milder sector sweep through before we see again oscillating milder and colder sectors. So you can see there is colder, wintry weather coming, but it's very temporary uh, and will again expand pretty much exclusively be in the north and the west for anything decent uh, and again that will be uh, over the hills for massive accumulations um couldn't rule out a few flakes of course, of course the low-lying areas even in central southern areas and southeastern areas um but it's nothing crazy uh, nothing really to, to get too excited for but if you are looking for a few flakes there is the possibility over the next few days now if we do have a look at the gfs run we'll have a look at precipitation and temperature uh, We'll have a look at sorry temperature and the pressure charts. Now you can see we've got northwesterly wind moving in at the moment. Um, pretty chilly. Uh, we're going to see repeated northwesterly winds before we see a bit more of a bump in uh, of higher pressure, bringing up more of a westerly wind by sort of Monday, Tuesday time. And then we see this potential northerly spell appear um, for around sort of six, seven days time. Again, it's different models are sort of making uh, uh, making different scenarios. It's all about how sharp this application is. Um, this latest GFS one is pretty cold, bringing the cold air that's in for a good three or four days, really. Um, again, the main risk for that will be ice and frost and cold temperatures. Less likely to be snow, um, simply because uh, more of a high pressure influence with that. Before we do see westerly winds push in, but. A lot of the runs do have a pretty decent cold spell there uh, before we get we go through between oscillating milder and colder sectors. Now, if we do have a look at the GM run, see how that does compare. Again, you see a northwesterly flow at the moment, and then westerly winds before we see another bit of a northerly northwesterly wind, not as quite sharp with that high pressure. So, of course, we see that cold air mass come through, but it doesn't quite last as long as the GFS one was uh, showing before we see, again, milder air mass push back in. Now, if we do have a look at the Eastern Mary F run. Uh, again, um, you can see West Central uh, is now fully updating West Central. Uh, and you can see we can see sort of three, six, and 12 hour intervals now. We've got a lot more data with it. So that's going to be nice to see over the next few weeks. But you can see northwesterly winds before southwest is pushing uh, for the start of the week. And then we see that bit of a northerly wind. Again, not as sharp, but still pushing quite a cold air mass through for a good few days. And under that high pressure, which tries to stick around, actually, towards day 10, um, does get shunted away eventually, but does try and stick around. We could see a good few days of pretty cold conditions, of frosty weather and colder days around around or below average, especially when, they've, when we have those colder upper air conditions. Wouldn't be massively snowy, but it would be colder. And there would be potential for some wintry conditions if we do see some precipitation forming um, in, off, in off a north or northwesterly wind. So, yeah, much more seasonable there uh, in around sort of six, seven days' time. And it could last a good few days. It's not likely to be... It does look like, at the moment, it's likely to be a good two, three, four-day sort of colder spell. Um, again, I'm not promising anything with it, um, as these things can downgrade and could upgrade, really. But we're seeing quite a lot of consistency with a much colder air mass moving through. Generally higher pressure, so not too much, too much precipitation, but can't rule it out, um, and colder temperatures. Now, if we do have a look at the ensembles, now if we do have a look at the GFS ensembles, you can see uh, pretty cold at the moment. And it's going to slowly rise over the next couple of days. It's around average, slightly below average, and then we see a big mild sector move in around the start of next week, before temperatures really do drop off once again, back down to minus 5 at age of THPA around the sort of 10th, 11th of February. And it lasts for a good few days, around to the 14th of February, before temperatures start to really climb up. Summer, hanging on to that cold conditions for a good four or five days. So could be, as I said, prolonged colder weather. I wouldn't say wintry, though, um, as 
doesn't look like there might need to be massive precipitation, but with that cold air mass, any precipitation falling would likely to be snow. So there could be some flakes and some wintry showers. Light accumulations are very possible, even to low-lying areas. But we'll have to see, really, what happens with that near the time. And in the future, beyond that, things return to around average um, as we do see a westerly flow come back in. So by no means this is a massive blocking pattern, but it's a bit of an application that could produce something a little bit colder for a period of time. A bit more seasonable, really. Now, if we do have a look at the Eastern VF Ensemble, as you can see, a pretty consistent signal as well. In fact, it's probably going for a bit of a longer, colder spell there. Starting around the 10th of February all the way to around the 13th, maybe 14th. So a bit more consistency with a colder spell there. But it's very similar over the next week or so with colder. And then a mild sector moving through around 8th of February before much colder around the 10th of February in around six days' time. And then a good few days of much colder conditions before majority of the ensemble members return to around or above average, really. Now, uh, people say oh, it looks really mild in the longer term. But one thing I must say is this colder spell that's appearing between the 10th and 14th of February, that was much milder than average around three or four days ago. So... We can't can't take this uh, to we can't really take the ensembles beyond sort of day ten too literally at this stage because with the westerly flow even a little bit of application can turn things very cold um, similar to what we're seeing this period um, in the middle of February so a little bit of application especially a little bit of a ridge of high pressure can turn things a lot colder so not guaranteed to go much milder in the longer term but definitely a trend to return to around average so no massive blocking signals no massive cold weather but definitely something more seasonable could be some snow around um and yeah generally colder conditions which i think a lot of people will enjoy but for the period of but for the next few days really winter is probably returning in the north a little bit of wintriness potentially in the south for a time with some frost maybe a few flakes here or there with some showers over the next 24 hours but other than that, it's returning back milder before potentially a little bit colder um, in around six or seven days' time. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.